Today, I want to talk about what does it mean to be wealthy. And the reason why is that Shannon sent me a question. Shannon is one of the contestants, if you will, on our 7 Millionaires in Training project at 7m7y.com. And Shannon asked me a question that I'll get to, but the post that she asked me a question about was what does it mean to be wealthy? And I thought that's a probably a very, very good way to start today's show. Because uh, I read a post by another blogger, I think it was Trent at Get Rich, no, Trent at The Simple Dollar, and his post was simply this, how much money is walk away from it all money? And that's really what it all boils down to. You know, if you had a certain amount of money at a certain point in time, would you and could you and should you just walk away from it all? Now that's up to you, but the question is, how much is that amount of money and when? So for that reason, I actually don't like it when people uh, give numerical definitions of wealth. So if I say I have $7 million in seven years, does that mean I'm wealthy? Not necessarily. And I'll explain why in a minute. So I don't like definitions that uh, the st statisticians use, like ultra high net worth individuals earn an income of $170,000 per year. It means something, nothing. They might spend $250,000 a year. I don't like definitions that say that you're rich when you have $1 million, $5 million, or $10 million in assets, not including your primary residence. Uh, that doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything to me either. And there's, if you've read The Millionaire Next Door, has anybody read The Millionaire Next Door? I'm sure a few of you will say yes on the chat. They came up with this rather convoluted formula that to me is absolutely meaningless. I looked at it when the book came out. I looked at it on, the, on my way, on my own journey. It didn't mean anything to me. It still means nothing to me now. So I don't like those numerical definitions of wealth. I also disagree that wealthy people are people who can simply afford to live the current lifestyle without working. So somebody made a definition that pe wealthy people are folks who don't have to work and can live off their savings, pensions, social security checks, dividends, and any other non-work related payments. I don't agree with that at all. I mean, social security can change, dividends can change. Uh, these are cash poor people, and I don't really agree that they have a definition of wealth. They may be able to live their current lifestyle without working, but to me, the current lifestyle is not necessarily a wealthy lifestyle. Others would describe then a wealthy lifestyle. If you can afford a wealthy lifestyle, then you're wealthy. Like as somebody said, European travel, upscale cars, very nice paid for home. Well, I had those things and I had them well before I would have considered myself wealthy. So I don't think that what you spend your money on is any definition of wealth. There are plenty of people who spend a lot more than they can afford, and they look like they're wealthy, but they're not. That's where I agree with the book, uh, The Millionaire Next Door, which I think debunks that myth. So to me, lifestyle that has all the trappings of wealth does not equal wealth. So what do I consider wealthy? And it's very simple to me. It's having enough passive income. That means that income that you generate without having to work, without relying on the government to give you a handout, is enough passive income that you have in fairly stable investments that allow you to live the life that you want. And to me, it's got nothing to do with 70% of your current salary or 100% of your current salary or 120% of your current salary because that may not go anywhere near to paying for what you want. So to me, wealth is then measured by two things and the two things are how much is your annual salary that you're paying yourself, no one else is paying it to you, and when do you need it by? And that to me is wealth, and we'll cover those subjects in future uh, meetings.